Hello, Melissa Wick here, and I am in one of my favorite places in the entire world, in the beautiful Costa Rica. And I'm very honored and grateful to be able to bring this practice to you. It is a morning practice, starting off before the sun rises. It's going to be very gentle, warming up, and working our way up to sun salutations, um, saluting the sun, taking it down, and setting an intention for our day. So to begin, you may need two blocks. If you don't have blocks, you can use a blanket and roll the blanket up, just using it to open up the heart. But if you don't have either of those, that's okay. And then also a strap, or if you don't have a strap, you could use a scarf or a tie, anything that you can wrap your foot around. And so there's going to be very little cueing in this class because I would love for you to take in the sounds of the monkeys, the birds, the jungle, nature. So it's going to start off a little bit dark, and then the sun will rise and we'll be able to begin our day in our heart centers and connecting and feeling. And so without further ado, let's get started. So we are gonna begin on our backs. If you have a blanket, you're gonna fold it and roll it up and take it to the top part of your mat, but leave enough space to put your shoulder blades on there. If you don't want to use the blanket, you can take your two blocks and use your blocks instead for a heart opener. So going back to the blanket, the thicker you make your blanket roll, the more intense the chest opening is going to be. So you can try it out and find your sweet spot. And if you want to use the blocks, you can take one block on the highest setting to the back of your mat, the next block maybe on the second setting. And really there's no right or wrong way, just a few inches in front. And you're gonna keep your sit bones down and take the back of your heart, start to align it to the bottom of the block, and then take your hands and find the back block. Find your sweet spot for your head. And you can do this with the blanket, with the blocks, or with nothing at all and just lay on your back. Bring the soles of your feet to touch, knees open, palms up. Get your wiggles out. Close the eyes, breathe in. Exhale through your mouth. One more time like that, breathe in. We're just settling in here, taking in the sounds of nature the monkeys and the birds. Breathing in and out through the nose. beginning our day, blessing this day, whatever that means to you, being grateful we have another opportunity to live our highest version of ourselves. Noticing any sensations you're feeling throughout the body. Feeling the buzzing, tingling, the electricity and energy running through you and connecting to that. Turning into your heart space.
center of life, of creation, of love. in wholeness and in gratitude. Nourishing yourself with your breath. Take five more breaths here. Take your hands to the outside of your knees, your legs closing them gently, and then just coming off your blocks or your blanket, coming right back down onto your back. We're gonna bring our feet as wide as the mat, or maybe just a little bit wider than your hips, and let your knees fall into touch. One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart constructive rest. Feeling your sacrum rooted. Grounding into the earth, rooted in love. Feeling a peaceful infusion of your breath in your body. Release your hands to your knees. Lift your knees, just hands on the kneecaps, fingers facing down. We're going to start to open the knees out to the side, circle them in, and knees away, out and in. So keep this circular motion. Reverse your direction. Pause. Interlace both hands behind the right, in front of the right knee on your right shin. Extend your left leg long, keeping both feet flexed. You're gonna draw your right knee in towards your chest to use your biceps. Draw your right knee out towards your right underarm to the outside of the right body. Maybe left hand to left hip. Squeeze. And then cross your knee over your body, your left hand to the outside of your right thigh, knee over to the left. Right arm extends. Maybe you look to your right hand for a twist.
knee back to center, and then mindfully switch sides. Left knee comes in, right leg extends out, flexing your feet, toes towards the face. Use your biceps, draw the left knee in. Right hand to right hip. Take your left knee out to the left towards your left underarm. And then cross your left knee over your body to the right, right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Left arm extends open to a T, twist to the right. Finding your strap or your scarf or your tie and take your strap to the ball of your right foot just below your toes opening up the hamstrings soften your shoulders into your mat toes towards the face left knee bent or extended if extended keep it active relax your shoulders Both straps are to your right hand. Open up your leg to the right. Maybe left hand to your left hip to ground. Back to center straps into your left hand, keep your right hip on the mat, start to draw your right leg over to the left, might just be a little bit. Release, extend your right leg beside the left, take a moment to notice the difference between both sides. And then prepare for the other side. Strap to the left foot, ball of the left foot below the toes, extend. Plug the shoulders into the mat, lengthen the back of the neck, toes towards the face, Option to extend right leg, keeping it active.
and then take both straps into your left hand, right hand to your right hip. Start to open the leg to the left. Keep your hips grounded. Back to center, straps into your right hand, left hip stays down, bring your left leg over to the right, just might be a little bit, doesn't need to be grand. Release, take your prop off. We won't need it again. Extend your legs long, noticing the difference. And then you can bend your knees in, take your hands below your kneecaps. Just give yourself a rock all the way up. Crossing your legs, bring your hands forward. Shimmy your way back to tabletop. Fingers wide, cat cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. You can stay with your cat cows, breath to movement, or you can bring in a circular motion or any movement that is calling to you for the next several breaths. If you're going one way, reverse your direction. And pause, keep your hips over your knees, puppy stretch, walk your hands forward, head and heart towards the mat. Inhale, back to tabletop. Tuck your right toes under, left leg extends out to the side. And then sit your heels back, your sit bones on your heels, walk your hands forward. Inhale table. Tuck your left toes under, right leg extends out to the side, sit bone to heel, release. <whistles> Tabletop. Tuck both toes under, prepare for downward dog. Push into your palms, send your hips up and back. You can start by bending your knees a lot, find length in the spine, and maybe you pedal out your feet, take your dog for a walk, making any movements that you like to warm up. Find stillness. Inhale, forward to high plank. Exhale, lower to your belly. Point your toes. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Pause here. Tuck your toes under, elbows stay hugged in. Inhale, push yourself through plank or table. Exhale back, down dog. Bend your knees, look between your hands. Walk or step to the top of your mat. 
feet hip width distance apart. Ragdoll, opposite elbows, bend your knees a lot, release your head. Sway if you like. Yes to no. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Tall mountain. Uttita Tadasana. Exhale, hands come through to heart center. And take this moment here. First standing posture. Feel the support of the legs beneath you. Feet are rooted and grounded. At the same time, getting tall to the top of the head, soften the shoulders. Slight tone in the belly. Release your arms down, palms face forward. I am here. We're going to salute the sun. Sun salutations. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step back, high plank. And exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Bend the knees, look between your hands, empty out the breath, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga or to your belly. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, belly button draws back, down dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look between your hands. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, high plank, lower to your belly or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Take this one on your own. finish, find yourself back in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold here and just step back to down dog. Now you're, we're going to come to a seat with our legs in front of us. If you'd like to try to jump through, you can spread your hands a little bit wider, make room. 
bend the knees a lot. Look between your hands. On your exhale, you're going to step through or jump through. And extend your legs out long. We're going to gently spread the flesh here. Nice and tall. Inhale, arms are going to lift up, flex the toes. Exhale, fold here. You can use your strap if you'd like. Inhale, lift, arms lift up. Exhale, your hands down by your side. <clears throat> Might need to scoot yourself a little bit forward. Lie down onto your back. We're gonna come into an inversion. So you can come into shoulder stand, or you can take your block or a book or something for a restorative waterfall. Taking your block under your sacrum, legs up, or no block, no prop, legs up, or shoulder stand. Lift your hips up, take your hands to your low back. Get used to being upside down, don't look from left to right. You're welcome to come into plow. Just really being mindful here. down come right into bridge plant your feet on the mat hip width distance heels close to your glutes inhale lift your hips up and you can take your hands flat on the mat or you can interlace the hands behind the back walk your shoulders in Release, lower, pause. And take a second inversion. You can do the same pose bridge. You can take full wheel. Maybe you wanna take fish pose. I'm gonna come into fish pose. I'll take this moment to take any other inversion you like. Wherever you are, lower yourself with control. Draw your knees in towards your chest. And plant your feet down, cross your right ankle over the left thigh, flex your right foot, thread the needle. Release, other side. Cross your left ankle over the left thigh. Ankle clears, left foot flexed. Interlace the hands behind the right thigh.
release. Come into any last shape you'd like to take before Shavasana. I'm gonna take happy baby. And just really listen to what your body needs in this moment or you can just come right into Shavasana. and then slowly make your way into your final resting place, extending your legs, making adjustments as you need, maybe shimmy your shoulders a little together, open the chest, breathe in, let it go. And let go of any controlling of your breath Moving into this state of receivership, receiving your practice with your whole body resting on the ground because there's nothing left for you to do. Allowing the energy within you to organize itself into coherence, balance, in harmony. Noticing here what it feels like to be at home in the center of your own being. And know that you always, always have access to this. Start to deepen your breath. letting your breath gently stretch you from the inside out, bringing in some movement. Stirring your body into wakefulness as you raise your arms up overhead, pointing your toes. And draw your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a hug. 
rolling over onto one side. You can rest your ear onto your bicep. Pause in this fetal shape. Notice how this shape feels to you. Tuning in to gratitude for starting your day with yourself, honoring yourself, connecting. And then use your top hand to bring you up to a seated position. Take your hands to your heart center. Thumbs to your chest, slight bow of the chin, tall spine. Enjoy these moments here with yourself and your breath. Perhaps setting an intention for your day. And noticing how you feel after practice. And I invite you to take this feeling with you, carry it into your day, and to spread it to all those around you. Thank you for your trust. From my heart to yours, namaste.